we have discussed about that how the different animals ev were evolving with the uh, time uh, a passing time in the course of history of earth and when those animals were uh, evolving along with them the plants were also evolving the plants are autotroph they are making their own food and they act as producers they are taking up the energy from the sun and they give that energy to the other organisms in the environment so that means the plants have very primary role in the in an ecosystem so here we are discussing about the fossil plants so here the first comes the algae and the fungi although these are not true plants but still they are just look like plant and they have fossils like plant so fungi have long fossil record perhaps dating back to the end of the precambrian but they are not true plants the green algae and their relative are close to the origin of green plants so they have their fossils and we have their extensive record and we can study their history as well and then there are the uh, terrestrialization of the plants the, uh, that means the plants come from an aquatic environment to the terrestrial environment just like the animals came from the uh, aquatic environment to the terrestrial environment so plants move on to the land in ordovician and silurian a move enabled by the evolution of vascular tissue and what do we mean by the vascular tissue these are xylem and phloem the xylem are taking up the food and the water and the mineral uh, uh, the, from the soil and they take up and the food is made in the leaves uh, through the photosynthesis and that food is transferred to the other non photosynthesizing parts of the plant uh, through the phloem so the vascular tissues were enabling the plants to uh, reduce their dependency onto the aquatic environment and they were waterproof uh, cuticles and stomata and durable spores so there are some other adaptations as well which enabled the terrestrialization of the plants and then there are the non seed bearing plants uh, arose during the devonian but a tree like uh, lycopsid and equisetopsids uh, the groups such as ferns become established by the carboniferous and they form the great coal forest coal that we use today it is actually coming from those coal forests and then there are the plant fossils the plant fossils are categorized into two forms one is the paleobotany as the name indicates paleo means ancient old and botany means the study of plants so the study of ancient plants so which concentrate on the macroscopic visible with the naked eye plant remains and then there is plynology uh, the study of fossil pollen and spores give remarkable insights into paleo environments and biostratigraphy so these two studies these help us uh, to study the ancient life forms of the plants and then there comes the gymnosperms gymno means naked and sperm means seed so that uh, the seed bearing plants uh, the earlier Uh, seed bearing plants they were having naked seeds so that's why we call them the gymnosperms and they radiated in several phases during the carboniferous permian there were medullosaurs chordates cycads and mesozoic coniferous ginkgos benetti talians and nitales and then there comes the angiosperms so uh, different uh, life periods they had and the angiosperms as the name indicates these are the covered seeds so uh, the flowering plants radiated dramatically during the cretaceous period and they were fully enclosed and protected seed uh, flowers and double fertilization so they have some adaptations which help them to dominate the whole flora of the planet